Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing what blessings coming to the sign of Leo and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks, okay? So, on the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, we have the Six of Cups. Leo, this is past. Thinking of someone from your past, or someone's thinking of you. Definitely feels like a past connection. We have the Judgment. The Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. We have the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. We have the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Cups. Okay. Leo. Goodness. What is going on here? You do have a past person here that is going to return to you. Could be multiple. Is that Seven of Cups? Like, not sure. Leo, I, I don't, I still don't feel like you're going to get to the point where you want with this person. Like, it's never, if this was a love interest, you're never going to get to that stage that you want it to be. If it's, you know, just a friend, it's never going to be that friendship, you know, you want it to be with that. Looking at the Seven of Swords here, like, that's not a good energy, Leo. At the bottom of this deck, we have the Hanged Man. Now, this is Pisces energy. I feel like we're going to get new perspective on past relationships and past people. Like, something you thought was good, but you're seeing more of it. You're getting a new perspective. But yeah, if I'm going to be honest with you, I see you finding better people than this person in your past. Like if you were to move forward from them, some of you already have. We have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Swords, we have the Hierophant, this is Taurus energy, High Priestess, more Pisces energy, the Emperor, Aries energy, and then we have the Moon. Cancer Pisces energy. Mm. Yes. You have this person wanting to speak to you, but I don't I don't get them like there's still something they're keeping hidden. There's still like that like look at the moon and seven of swords. That's not a good combination. And I honestly see you finding someone so much better that can actually give you emotional fulfillment. Someone who is more mature, actually. Look at all this major arcana. Look at this. Hierophant, Emperor, High Priestess. So you could have an Aries, Taurus, or a Pisces coming into your life that could Make you happy, but anyways, we have number two, beloved Zeus, lovers. This cosmic union is destined for greatness. You know what's funny? We, Taurus had this same thing pop up for them. It's kind of like it. We do have the hierophant. Some of you may have Taurus placements, or you have a, someone with Taurus placements coming in your life. We have protection. Number 24, Soul Cage. Rescue, Escape from Captivity, and Restriction. Number 20, Shared Inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. Okay. You have a turn away. Number 37, Third Chakra, Archangel Camille. I'm not sure how to say that, but... 
So you can go ahead and look up this chakra and that angel to get more information on that. But what this talks about is emotions of desire and life force energy. So, Leo, what it actually feels like is you're turning away from people that left you feeling stuck, constricted. And I see you finding someone that you, you know, makes you happy. This doesn't have to be just as love. This can be friends. You know, you have a lot in common with this person. And also with this protection card. So you are protected. Okay, that was a very interesting reading, Leo. So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.